Hello, and welcome to Miss Enjoy Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I'm Miss Enjoy, and I'm here to do your daily fast slides for love relationships. I'm going to pull five cards and see what the overall energy is to you, my Taurian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Monday, July 29th. Um, hello to my returning subscribers. How are you guys doing? Welcome back. And to any new viewers, hello. You are all loved, welcomed, and greatly appreciated. If you have not yet done so, please take the time to hit like and subscribe. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. If I do not resonate with you, please feel free to seek another reader. There are lots of wonderful readers and lightworkers out here who may have the message that is intended for you. Never allow a reader or a reading to ruin your energy. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and get into your energy, my Taurian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Monday, July 29th, we're going to ask spirits of the ancestors, gods and goddesses, guardian angels, and watchers to please be here to deliver a positive message for my Taurian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Monday, July 29th, please, spirit. All right, we're going to go ahead and shuffle your energy into the cards just a little bit. Thank you very much. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have the Eight of Staffs. The Chariot card. The Lover's card. The Two of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. Okay, well, <clears throat> I see all things great moving forward. You got the Eight of Staffs, the Chariot card, the Lover's card, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is a fresh new offer of love coming in here. I don't know who this is here that you're working on, but I see that's a soulmate connection twice coming out in this reading. So you got the Lover's card and the Two of Cups, a divinely guided connection. And a, um, a prosperous soulmate commitment type of card here with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups, their hand are bound. They're bound by snakes, but they're still bound. In um, the Wiccan marriage ceremony, we have what's called a hand fasting, where the hands are tied in a symbolic binding of two souls. And so that's what that card speaks to me. It says to me, it's one of my commitment or marriage cards, okay? And with the Knight of Cups, that lets me know that this is an incoming offer of love. This is something that's <clears throat> something that's new and approaching, and it it it's something that you're just getting into. It's a new person or a new situation. This is not a long-term or old, you know, relationship that you've been in. This is something new. And I've, I've seen with the Eight of Staffs and the Chariot card, you're working on trying to open up to this and accept this, but um, you just got to do it. Okay, you just got to do it. And for some of you, you may actually be moving, physically moving or making moves toward this person, working on trying to move in together or, and you know, to take that next step in your relationship. Like if you're in friend zone, you're going to dating. If you're dating, you're going to committed. If you're committed, you're going to move in together. You're in get you're in there. You're going to get married. You know, so this is movement forward, positive progress in a love relationship. And that's great. This is awesome. Awesome day on the table for you, Taurus. You're happy where you are. You're happy where you're at. You're happy where you're going. Okay? Um, nothing will come of this situation. So I wouldn't worry, basically, about um, it going bad or being bad. 
Uh, your dreams need a practical plan. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. And, <clears throat> excuse me, a time for healing. Okay, so like I said, you really need to focus on accepting new love. Try to leave your baggage in the past. Try to accept who's coming in for you and with the new opportunities, new loves, new relationships that are coming in for you. Because it might necessarily, it might not necessarily even be a love connection. It could very well be a work relationship or new situation on that level that you're dealing with. So whatever path you're on, keep working on it. Don't be afraid to move forward. This situation is not going to be harmful for you. I don't see anything negative coming from the situation. Um, you just need to heal, get out of your head, and quit worrying about what may happen, the shoulda, coulda, what are the possibly maybes and might occurs, and, and move forward. All right, keep working on moving forward, keep working on healing, be open, be accepting, be honest, be fearful, be on. All right, Taurus? Okay. All right, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you again for Tuesday. Have a great day. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.